What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, found these at Aldi uh, about a week ago or so. I figured I better review them because they're not going to be there long. There's over in the Aldi fine section in the in the core and I uh, figured I'd give them a try. Um, so obviously they're distributed exclusively. Distributed and sold exclusively by Aldi's out of Batavia, Illinois. You can find them at Aldi.us. Today we have Aldi's Smoky Tomato and Smoky Barbecue Hummus. Now I'm going to tell you what, that Smoky Tomato one looks amazing. It's a little more orange. And yeah, maybe it's about the same on camera as it is in person. Maybe a little bit more orange. The barbecue one's more of a... You know, like a I guess it's a lighter orange color, but these both look really good. Uh, we'll do the tomato one first, I guess. Um, no write-up on it, so we'll just um, nutrition read your nutrition facts. Uh, two tablespoons is a serving, 70 calories a serving, seven servings per container, so seven times 70 is 490 calories. So, now the ingredients are cooked chickpeas, which is chickpeas and water, tomato puree, canola oil, tahini, which is ground sesame, water, smoked paprika, sea salt, spices, citric acid, garlic powder, and potassium sorbate to maintain freshness. As the bus goes by, across the road. And I forgot the, I didn't have anything at home to really taste them with. I didn't want to do it on a spoon, so I dropped, stopped the Dollar General on the way down and got a bag of pretzel sticks. A pound bag of pretzel sticks for two and a quarter, that's not too bad. But that's what we're going to try our hummus with today. These aren't bad as well, well calorie-wise. 94 pretzels as a serving, which is 30 grams, 120 calories, 15 servings a bag. I, mean, I don't know if you're eating a whole bag of pretzels, but if you are, that's, that's a lot of that's a lot of pretzels. 15 servings times 120 calories. It's a lot. That's 1,800 calories for a whole bag. But yeah, 94 pretzels is a pretty good serving. But, so, let's give you a little review first. Yeah, these are but the 94 because these are really really thin pretzel sticks. Usually they're a little thicker than this, but hmm. not bad. All right, let's get into our smoky tomato hummus. Pretty good pretzels, just a touch salty, but they are pretzels, right? Let me get a couple pretzels here. That's what the hummus looks like. Give it a little mix. Even though I don't think we really have to. So get the paprika. Yeah, smoked paprika. Smell the chickpeas. Am I getting much of the tomatoes? Maybe a little garlic powder. Not bad. So from all these, our first hummus review is the smoky tomato. Cheers. Okay, I get the tomato on the back end. Got a nice smoked paprika flavor. Pretty good. That's a pretty good hummus. That one right there is good. No heat. Flavor? I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I think the pretzels are just a little too salty. Kind of, I don't want to say killing the flavor, but kind of messing up the flavor a bit. Put my camera up here a little bit closer here. And uh, so now we have the hummus, the Aldi's uh, Smoky Barbecue Hummus. Same calories as the other, 70 calories per serving, two tablespoons of a serving, seven servings per container, 70 times 70 is 490. Now the ingredients of this are cooked chickpeas, which are chickpeas and water, and then water, canola oil, seasoning, which is sugar and brown sugar, spices, dehydrated onion and garlic, paprika, tomato powder, oleo resin paprika, natural flavors including smoke, 
tahini, which is ground sesame, sugar, sea salt, dried garlic, citric acid, potassium sorbate to maintain freshness, and spice. So you have spices and you have spice. Whatever. I love these companies. <clears throat> Just tell us what's in it. What if you, I mean, I don't know if you can be allergic to a spice, but what if you're allergic to a spice and you don't know what's in it? You can't buy anything because it just says spice? Come on. Ain't that secret of a recipe, good lord. Anyway. Huh. Well, it doesn't have much of a smell to it. That's what it looks like. I don't know. We'll mix it up and see what it tastes like, I guess. Here, give it a little, little mixy mix. Can't give it a shaky shake, but... <sighs> Maybe a slight barbecue smell. Oh, here we go. So, our second hummus review from Aldi, the Smoky Barbecue. Cheers. I, I want to. I, I know what I. I know what I want to say. What it tastes like, but it's gonna sound weird. Idiots. Okay, um, <laughs> this is going to sound weird, <sighs> you know what, let me get my spoon out, because it's going to sound weird what I say this tastes like, I probably should try the other one without pretzel too, but here we go with the barbecue. It tastes like Walmart potato salad. I'm not joking. It tastes like Walmart potato salad with a little bit more sugar in it. There's a little bit of barbecue seasoning in it, but not much. So let's uh, let's try this tomato one too without the uh, pretzels, because the salt I think was kind of messing up the flavor. That's still about the same. That's still about a 7 out of 10 on flavor. Good tomato flavor. The barbecue one? I'm not kidding. It tastes like Walmart potato salad. A little sweeter with a little bit of barbecue seasoning. But I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to give that one 8.5 out of 10. And that's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. So, we have smoky tomato and smoky barbecue hummus from Aldi. Now, obviously, no heat, no heat. Smoky tomato, 7 out of 10. Smoky barbecue, 8.5 out of 10. I would, if you really only want to buy one, I would suggest a smoky barbecue, but they're both pretty decent, though. I would put them on sandwiches. That barbecue one would be good on a burger. The tomato one would be good on a burger, too, with a little bit of cheese. Not bad. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do your own with this video. I really don't care. See you next time.